good morning friends uh, we'll start today the current the current questions and answers really a test specimen used as a basic of calibration test equipment or in comparison when evaluating test result is referred to as a reference standard so comparison is with reference standard the process of comparing reading or output of an instrument device or dial with a standard to determine the instrument's accuracy capacity and graduation is referred to as calibration in an eddy current testing situation which of the following can provide source of noise instrumentation electronic circuit non specific variations within the test object electrical interference all of the above when conducting the eddy current test using a differential comparison coil arrangement that compares an external reference standard with the test specimen the system should be null or balanced with the reference standard in one coil and an acceptable test specimen in the other coil i'll just show you something Okay, there it here itself. Uh, let us go for here. So this one, if you see, there is a standard specimen. You can compare with that. So this one in the direction of motion, and we are checking this this test specimen with standard specimen. the ratio of response of amplitude from signals of interest to response of amplitude of indications that contain useful information for the test being conducted is referred to as signal to noise ratio the impedance of an eddy current test coil will increase if test frequency increases because impedance <coughs> there are two things so one is resistance one is x reactance so reactance is 2 pi fl which is depending on test frequency so impedance is the vector sum of reactance and resistance so when impedance will increase the frequency will increase the impedance will increase impedance will increase frequency has to increase that's all is cs is the recognized abbreviation for internal annealed copper standard some of the products commonly tested using encircling coils are rods tubes and wire <coughs> which of the following is not a basic component of eddy current equipment liquid coupler which of the following would normally be considered the best fill factor when testing strut tubing with an encircling or feedback feedback through fit through coil that is 95% when a magnetic metal part is placed in a eddy current test coil the impedance of the coil will change by which of the following properties of the part conductivity dimension permeability so everything will change its impedance first of all if we can see what is impedance let us see
The alternating current is induced in a coil. With an AC current, the magnetic field will form and collapse. Then from the opposite direction, this occurs at the same frequency, the change in the current direction. If the alternating current is introduced into a coil, the magnetic flux will alternate right along with it, which describes the timing. Okay, what will happen? <clears throat> Alternatively, coil rotating in a magnetic field produce alternative electrical voltage. This forms the basic of electrical power. When the alternating current excites an empty coil, an opposing or back electromotic force, EMF, is introduced in the coil. The voltage alternated at the same frequency, but 90 degree ahead of the current that created it. This effect causing the current to lag behind the voltage is called inductive reactance. And it is only for AD current, means AC current. If DC current, they are in phase. So AD current is not for DC current, it is generated by AC current. And for conductors. What are the benefit of AC current? It can be non-contact, it is useful sizing capability, it can provide a quick inspection method, relatively undemanding the surface reparation. Detection of surface breaking defects such as cracks in conductive material, conductive material, not fair, any conductive material, metallic material setting, coating thickness, non-conductive layers, non-conductive material, and conductive layers on the non-conductive -conduct layers. Material change due to heat treatment, overheating, stress, or fatigue. When a magnetic metal part is placed in an eddy current test coil, the impedance of the coil will change by which of the following properties of the part. Conductivity, dimension, permeability, all of the above. When testing ferromagnetic materials, the depth of eddy current are induced in the material will be determined by same conductive beauty of the material, permeability, geometrical shape of the material, all of them. The eddy current is a circulating electrical current induced in a conducting article by an alternating magnetic field. When testing plate with a probe coil, it is noted that the eddy current output indication varies as the distance from the coil to the surface of the test part varies. The term used to describe this action is lift up. So when you are lifting up the probe, that is the eddy current output indication varies. This is called lift up. It will not remain constant. The conductivity of a material can be changed by changing the alloy of the specimen, heat treatment, temperature of the specimen, all of the above. The main purpose of spring-loaded eddy current probe is to minimize lift-up variation because only spring thickness, that is that much the thickness. How much is spring? Spring, do not spring, so that is the deviation. That much lift up, maybe. Lift up is utilized in measuring the thickness of non conductive coating on conductive material. Figure one is illustration of a material of 
materials hysteresis slope In the eddy current test system where encircling coils are used, coupling efficiency is referred to as fill factor. When inspecting products with a uniform cross section, the eddy current signal is produced when the leading end of the leading end or trailing end of the product approaches the test coil. This phenomenon is referred to as end effect. or age effect. When a probe is moved near the edge of the test product or edge effect occurs because of the part of magnetic field is outside the test object. Similar to lift up response, but
I'll clear when when it is when I'll come to theory. Which of the following conditions would be most difficult to detect when eddy current testing rod with encircling coil? A small inclusion in the center of the rod cannot be cannot find. When a test coil consists of double winding arrangement and one winding is referred to as a primary winding, the other is secondary winding. When testing tubing with an inside diameter coil, most of the eddy currents flow around the inside diameter of the tubing because it is in tubing with an inside diameter coil. If outside, it is outside. Eddy current test coil is outside with coil, then outside flow around outside. Eddy current test coils which are wound to form a wide coil would normally be used to detect change in conductivity. Which of the following test frequencies would produce eddy currents with largest depth? <clears throat> Frequency is low. The depth is high. High frequency skin effect. Eddy current test coil, which are wound to form narrow coil, would normally be used to detect small surface defect. An eddy current test coil opposition to the flow of alternating current is called inductive reactance. Direct current saturation coils would most likely be used when testing steel. That is saturation coils. So when you saturate, then the new effect will decrease. So you can test still the thing. the permeability. We all changed. There is two cases. One is over a non-paramagnetic specimen, over a paramagnetic specimen. This changes. A is for non-paramagnetic, this is for ferromagnetic. What will happen? The test of if the test object is non-paramagnetic, the magnetic flux leakage associated with the coil decreases. When it is, when the probe is coming towards this, because Lenz's law, the direction of the induced eddy currents are consequent to the secondary field generated by this current, suppose the change of primary field. The magnetic flux leakage associated with the coil decreases because of opposing nature of the primary and secondary fields because of the self-inductance of the coil defined as a flux linkage for ampere turns, the inductance of the coil decreases. Accompanying the decrease of inductance is an increase in resistance owing to fact that the eddy current losses incurred within the specimen have to be made by source of primary excitation. The loss manifests itself the change in coil resistance. So the reactance will decrease, reactor resistance will increase. But what happened if it is 
nephromagnetic substance impedance plane trajectories of coil over specimen over non paramagnetic over paramagnetic changes are exaggerated for clarity this coil in air coil over specimen with discontinuity coil over specimen without discontinuity there are one two three all things are there you can check So the inductance of a coil in, increases the, when the coil comes in contact with ferromagnetic specimen. Change in inductance is also accompanied by an increase in resistance attributable to the eddy current and stresses losses because of the permeability. It is Reactance will go up new times. So it will reactance will increase and resistance will increase. That is the difference. Uh, An eddy current is coil opposition of flow of alternating current is called inductive reactance. Direct current saturation coils should most likely be used when testing steel. The single absolute coil arrangement, so this mu effect can be decreased by this direct current saturation. Direct current is used for saturating the steel mu, the permeability of the steel. The single absolute coil arrangement can be used probe encircling in inside diameter coils. The increase in impedance of eddy current test coil will cause a decrease in the current flow through the test coil. The primary purpose of secondary winding in eddy current is detect change in eddy current flow. Which of the following will affect the impedance of an encircling eddy current test probe? All of the above. Which of the following eddy current test coil arrangement uses one area of test specimen as reference standard against which another area of the spins? Same specimen is simultaneously compared, differential. The entire circumference of a test part is evaluated at one time when using an encircling coil. When attempting to determine the exact point of location of discontinuity, the test system should include a probe coil. 
The readout mechanism used for testing by ellipse method is cathode ray tube. The reference standard used for eddy current testing may contain artificial or natural discontinuities or be free from discontinuities depending on the test system and the type of test being conducted. If it is often possible to sort various non-magnetic alloys of metals by means of an eddy current test when there is a unique range of conductivity values for each alloy. Which of the following products should be most applicable to test using inside coil, bolt hole? The reference standard used to ensure that the amplitude of the phase characteristic of eddy current system do not drip during the continuous testing is called calibration standard. Which of the following could not be tested by the eddy current testing method? Is four inch thick plate to be tested for small discontinuity throughout the plate? In eddy current testing of rod, if for discontinuity, which of the following condition could produce extraneous indication, improper adjustment, the hold down rollers, rod is fed through the coil at varying speed, change in dimension, so all there will be noise that is extra noise because of vibration. One method of reducing non-relevant indications which eddy current testing for a magnetic material is use a direct current saturation coil to magnetically saturate the test specimen. Which of the following is not applicable to eddy current testing can penetrate up to 6 inch. No. Only 6 milli. Eddy current are circulating currents induced in a conducting material by varying magnetic field. Which of the following is not a readout system used to present eddy currents? Test information, litmus paper. In order to generate measurable eddy current in a test specimen, the specimen must be a conductor. Which of the following statement best describe a selection of eddy current frequency? There is a range suitable frequency centered around the optimum frequency. All ferromagnetic materials that have been magnetically saturated to suppress the permeability variation may retain a certain amount of magnetization called residual magnetism. Which of the following is not method, not a method that may be used to improve the signal to noise ratio, increase the amplification of the test instrument. So it is not a method. An AC current flowing a conductor will set up an alternating magnetic field around the conductor. When conducting eddy current test in tubing, the magnitude of the indication caused by discontinuity is depend on depth of discontinuity, width of discontinuity, length of discontinuity, all of the above. The characteristic of alternating magnetic field in vicinity of the coil is affected by coil parameter, the magnetic magnitude of the applied AC current, the frequency of applied AC current, all of the above. The coil magnetic field may be viewed as a distribution of lines of flux around the coil. The number of lines in a unit area is defined as flux density. When using an encircling coil with both primary and secondary winding, the excitation alternating current is applied for the primary winding.
which of the following discontinuities would be easier to detect with the eddy current test? A radial crack that extends to the outer surface of the rod. For the purpose of eddy current testing, saturation of ferromagnetic material is risked when the current is at such a value that for any further increase in current, the signal to noise ratio will show no significant change. Eddy current test technique can be used measure coating thickness, measure cladding thickness, gauge the thickness of sheet. When sorting a known mix of two alloys with a comparator, having a quantitative readout device, it is desirable to hold all indications within the bounds of readout device in order to detect the possible existence of third alloy. Eddy currents cannot be induced in latex. Point paint. A term used to define a condition of balance in a device or system which result in zero output is null balance. <laughs> Which of the following characteristics do not apply to magnetic material? No hysteresis loop. A term used to define a unit of flux density is a gauss. Which of the following is not a eddy current testing method? Pulse eco testing. Changes in hardness of age hardenable aluminum and titanium alloys can normally be accompanied by changes in conductivity. Eddy current always travel in a closed path. A term used to desire holes, grooves, notches, etc. that introduced in the reference standard to provide accurately reproducible quality level is an artificial discontinuity. A term used to define one or more ton of loops or a conductor wound in such a manner as to produce an axial magnetic field when current passes through the conductor. A coil material must be reasonably centered in the test coil of a flow detection system because parts of material further away the coil radially may receive less sensitive inspection. Non-destructive tests are usually commonly conducted to determine the quality of finished product, locate the defective material before excessive fabrication is performed on the material, monitor production of technique. When you determine that flaw detection instrument has been set up incorrectly or is defective, all materials should be tested since the time correct setup or proper operation was last verified should be retested. The region around a magnetic magnet that is attracts other pieces of iron and steel is called the magnetic field. The eddy current system 60 cycle comparator type will measure the variation caused by difference in size of the shape, size or shape, grade of the or chemistry of the material, the way in which material has been process, processed, all of the above. An eddy current, eddy current coil arrangement that doesn't make a comparison with either two sections of the test specimen or one section of the test part in the reference standard is called an absolute coil arrangement. The length of tubing containing notch running from end to end and having uniform width and depth when tested with an encircling self-reference differential coil system, it will produce no signal because it is referencing same thing, so no signal. Which of the following are common applicable for eddy current testing? A measurement of conductivity or combination of conductivity and permeability, measurement of thickness of thin metal section, cladding or coating. Detection of surface and subsurface discontinuities, all of the above. The eddy current testing optimum sensitivity to a known defect placed at random on the surface of an unferrous length of tubing is obtained by proper choice of frequency, centering of tubing of the coil, proper adjustment of phase. So, all of the above. 
Which of the following is not a primary purpose of using ID current standard? Determine the instrument control setting needed to pass the highest percentage of test specimen run. This is not determine ID current test is capable of performing test. Properly determine the discontinuity. Cause of rejection, determine if sensitivity. That is okay. Spinning probe type ID current instrument are most useful in detection of surface and subsurface inclusion, smallest surface blemishes, internal piping or bust. One principal advantage of spinning probe eddy current is instrument is ability to locate the circumferential position of the defect. What causes phase shift in the eddy current test coil? The change in ratio of inductive reactance excel to resistance. That is shifting the phase. At any given instant, the spinning probe eddy current instrument should be inspected and they are defined by size of the probe coil. In a feed through encircling coil flow detection eddy current system, what would be the purpose of running a calibration defect several times but various positions, top, bottom, left, right? Ensure proper centering of material in the test coil. The spinning probe eddy current instrument would be most useful in detecting and precisely locating the surface and subsurface discontinuities. In a fit through encircling coil eddy current system, desaturation would probably be the most helpful testing of ferromagnetic steel tubing. Which of the following is not an unrestricted testing method? Fatigue testing, that is destructive test. In a fit through encircling coil eddy current system, the test frequency is controlled by <coughs> oscillator. Which of the following is not applicable to spinning probe type instrument? The size of product to be inspected is limited by DC saturation capability of the system. LA variation in non-magnetic material would most likely to affect the conductivity. In a fit through encircling co eddy current system, a calibration standard may be used to ensure repeatability and reliability of setup. Which of the following frequencies will provide greatest eddy current penetration of aluminum? Anything it may be low frequency. So go for low frequency, penetration is high. High frequency is skin effect. Penetration low. The coercive force of subtiron in electromagnetic core would be less than the coercive force of permanent magnet. Because permanent magnet residual magnetism is much. In eddy current testing, an unferrous material a discontinuity will decrease the effective conductivity of the specimen. Metals that do not react or react only slightly to magnetic field is called diamagnetic, paramagnetic, non-magnetic. Demagnetization is generally needed when the residual field in a specimen may affect the operation accuracy of instrument when specimen is placed in service, may interfere with the proper functioning of the part, might cause particle to be attracted and held to the surface of moving part. So any of the above. Symbol commonly used to express conductivity is alpha. Really sigma is used, but here it is given. So, okay. Other than these things. The symbol commonly used to express permeability is mu. The term used to define testing that requires the test article to be loaded and the same or section to verify or establish mechanical and physical properties is destructive test, destructive, destructive testing. Sorry. The method used to generate eddy current in a test specimen by means of coil can mostly be compared with the action of a transformer. So this is 
most closely for a transformer and a decurrent loss is there. Thank you, gentlemen.